I've spent the last two years making presets and plugins for DaVinci Resolve that help you do more faster. A lot of these are free, but the ones that aren't will have the price listed on screen. Let me show you what I've made. Hey there, if you are watching this at launch, stick around because at the end we're going to talk about a limited time sale where you can save on all of the paid products featured in this video. We're starting off with something pretty simple but super important that I don't want anyone to miss, and that is uh, masks on the edit page. I have five different masking effects, a basic ellipse, a basic rectangle, a four-point mask, this eight-point mask if I drop it on, open up my fusion overlay, I can drag any of these points, change this however I want open up the effects page in the inspector. Uh, I can soften that feather that I want, even toss an outline on there. And if I want even more control, I can toss on this custom effect and actually click anywhere in my frame, even click and hold to make these uh, smoother Bezier lines, connect that back up, come to my effects, invert that back, and have a completely custom mask. Something super useful like masks on the edit page possible because of these presets. But let's dip back to uh, free presets um, with the big dog Proto V2. Proto is my big energy effect preset. Um, you can choose from lots of different defined uh, sources like a simple line or text or polygon. Um, sort of like those masks, you can change these after the fact. Once you have the source, you can try out any of these presets that get pretty wild, but pretty cool. Hop back to controls, uh, custom those even further, including fun stuff like the color. And on top of that, if you uh, grab the effect version, you can toss this right over your footage and it will add glow based on the edges in your scene using all of those same controls. Proto is by far my most popular plugin, so you probably know a lot about this. I really want to revisit this soon. It's coming up on a year of this version of Proto. It's very cool, uh, but for now, there's more stuff we need to talk about. Next is this pretty fun uh, bouncing DVD logo screensaver. This doesn't actually have the DVD logo. You can put in whatever text you want here, uh, but as long as you stretch this effect to be, it will just keep you know, bouncing around the screen changing color every time it hits the wall. I think it's pretty cool. And then we have uh, two presets that are dynamic in really cool ways, that being uh, my master progress bar. It just sort of slides along here. And as long as your clip is, that's how long it will take to complete the progress bar. You can also change it up. Do you want the line at the bottom, the line at the top, or even a box that goes all the way around your frame. Again, stretch it longer and it takes longer to finish. Uh, you can even, you know, make this like a, like a color if, if that is cool once you, once you change it up. Cool. And then like that, we have our master countdown. This one, it's so simple, but so cool. Again, you do have uh, lots of styles that you can change up here, uh, but the main effect is that, you know, however long you stretch it to be, that's how long a countdown it is. And then we'll just run the countdown and then be done whenever your clip is done. Let's talk about titles and maybe maybe a little bit about subtitles. My most recent effect is actually this Subtitle Pro plugin. You can drop it on a timeline, customizing it using the full shading tab here, so it can look like you know, whatever you want it to. You can even double these up for really fun stuff. Once that's done, hop over to the animation tab and you can control, you know, whether it animates in, whether it scales, fades, rotates, slides. You can even add a shake so it shakes a little bit after it's uh, all animated in. And then as you listen along to the source you want to subtitle, you can even click this razor blade or I'm using a keyboard shortcut to just cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, like I'm listening along to someone talking. And then now each of those clips have those same animations in. Uh, you can always go back and change in the individual instance of this effect, or if you want them all, especially uh, it's super popular uh, to uh, uncheck the out animation so that they all you know, uh, animate in, but then just hop right to the next one. But there's tons of control here. Uh, if you want big flashy pop-up titles, this this is this is really cool. <laughs> Next, we've got uh, just 16 different classic word art styles. These are all made using those same uh, shading uh, element options. Some of them are a little bit more complicated. Uh, no animation on these, because you know, there was an animation in word art. Uh, but hey, if you want some like cool retro-ish, I don't know if like the 90s or early 2000s are retro now. If you love word art and you want word art, hey, it's a free download. We've got two really fun uh, type on effects with a blinking cursor, um, including this cool like unscramble cipher guy one. That's really fun. Uh, you've got options here to change the, like, the cursor, the look of it, uh, its general position, the size width, all sorts of customization options. Um, if you want some really cool blinking in text or like a little scramble decipher, you got it. The last big thing for just titles we have here um, is my main text essentials pack. We've got so many different options. Some of these with ongoing motion, some of them just a nice animate in. We have some nice sort of fade in that came in with the last version. And if I come down to especially these scale options, 
they just fly in, the scale bounce, nice bouncy text. And in the last big update to these, we unlocked that main shading tab as well. So anything you want to add onto these after the fact, toss that on and all the animation will stick right with it. And hey, I haven't mentioned it yet, but with all of these presets, open this button here and it will open it in the Fusion page and you can see exactly what's going on. This isn't a great example because all of these are built on a single text plus node. We might circle back to this uh, when it's a little more impressive to show off. But lots of really cool text effects all in text essentials. All right, I know there's a lot. We got to speed this up. Let's hit some of the highlights and then really go into sort of lightning mode. Okay, here I have 12 video clips on my scene and if I select them all, right click, make them a Fusion clip, and then come over to my Layout Pro pack here, I can just drag an effect on it, and boom, all 12 perfectly arranged in frame. This is what Layout Pro does. You can look at all these thumbnails for these layouts, up to 20 video sources perfectly arranged in frame in a matter of seconds. This is the kind of presets I really get excited about. This workflow, it saves tons of time. You can always come into the inspector, um, change any of these uh, clip controls, including the size, the background color, the mask, you can make them all rounded. Tons of options here, but we gotta keep going. And we're gonna keep going uh, with 3D Screen Pro. I've got this gameplay clip here, and if I drag and drop 3D Screen Pro, it tosses on a 3D plane with a pre-built camera move. This is really great for showing off any UI or like screen recordings of websites, especially. And again, you have tons of control over that animation itself, as well as the image plane if you wanna push it back so you see it a little bit more of it as it slides through. Tons of different options, all with those custom thumbnails to help you pick the option there as well. Let's talk about TikTok real quick, or really any vertical video. I've made a series of plugins to help um, streamers and anyone doing that kind of work edit faster. The newest version of that, V3, is a generator you drag and drop on a timeline, then you apply your clip to that and it formats it for you and you can like save any of those changes easily. I've gone back and forth on how I have built those effects for TikTok. I'm getting lots of feedback on them all the time. If you've downloaded version three and you don't love it, there are some changes I wanna make, but for now, um, version three is still pretty cool and does some interesting things. Let's talk tracking presets. I have a series of free tracking presets, uh, one that creates the locked on sort of stabilization look, one for tracked text, one for tracked images, and one for tracked text that tracks two points and sort of does a 3D scale between them. And then I have a paid version that combines all of those as well as adds the ability to track video uh, natively um, into your scene. And again, the whole point, all of that is on the edit page. You don't need to dip into Fusion for that super basic tracking work. Similarly to all that tracking, uh, I brought the Magic Mask tool from the Fusion page over to the edit page. You do still have to have Studio for that to work, but for super uh, basic Magic Mask, you know, masking, hey, you can do that on the edit page. I have a really slick a social media promo uh, you know, pop up a lower third graphic. You can choose from over 100 included icons or uh, drag and drop your own icon to use in all of those. And I have a YouTube subscribe button animation that matches the pretty recent UI overhaul that YouTube went through. It has some really cool like subtle uh, color effects. That's really cool. I've got a master shake plugin. Uh, drop it on any uh, footage or text or uh, image and it, it shakes with parameters you control. I've got an anime speed lines effects. This one is very fun and sort of like it a little meme I have a meme stretch effect. Like my progress bar, um, as long as you stretch the effect or the clip with the effect on it to be, that's how long the stretch will take. Um, of course, you know, tune in with controls in the inspector as well. I've got a master split screen effect if you wanna slide uh, a second angle in or a second camera or whatever, it's up to you. Um, slide it in for a time, slide it out. Got it. I have a really simple uh, stacked video preset. This is uh, pretty popular on you know Instagram and other like vertical format stuff. I've got a picture in picture, a pro preset with tons of customization, including like ongoing like organic animation. That's pretty cool. I've got a pretty simple RGB split effect. I have a screen pump effect with tons of customization. And this is really cool. You actually enter in the real BPM of the song and then you know, however much you want to like blur or brighten or shake, it will do all that perfectly in time with the song. I've got a really simple sort of like magnify zoom in effect and I have a really cool highlighter plugin that I actually really really like. It's super streamlined, it gives you these nice clean effects that you can add like just um, enough of customization and like control the look, control the uh, color, how they overlay over each other. I really really like this plugin. Um, it might be a good one to end on even though somehow there's still more. I made a pack of uh, 50 uh, presets for streamers with backgrounds and a whole lot of stuff. I also made like a 3D transitions pack and, and I gave away a pack of some smaller utility stuff for Christmas a few years ago. I've made a lot of stuff. <laughs>
but in case you can't tell, um, I'm also actively getting sicker as I record this video. Um, so we're going to try to wrap it up, but first, um, the really important thing. All of these presets are available at my website, stillingsupply.co. I really uh, want to beef up that website as like a destination on its own, and if you want more info on any of these presets, head over there. And people who become a member um, on that site also receive, as part of that membership, a bundle of Layout Pro, 3D Screen Pro, my 3D transitions, uh, and text essentials as, as part of that membership and supporting me on an ongoing basis. But if you are watching this video, um, at launch we're going to do something uh, pretty special. I haven't put out an update video um, like this in a while going over uh, all of what I offer, so we're going to celebrate a little bit um, with a sale. More info will be there in the description, um, so thank you for watching this far into the video. You get a little something extra, or people check out the description, I guess they get it too. Use, use that code at checkout to get 30% off your entire order. I'm about to head out to uh, NAB, really excited about all that stuff that's going to be happening there, but that also seems like a pretty good limit. So I've got a few days where all of you can get 30% off um, all the stuff you want to pick up. Um, hopefully you saw something you didn't um, know about in this video. Yeah, there are you know lots of videos on my channel, stuff gets lost. <laughs> so take advantage of that, and then uh, when I get home from NAB, uh, that will be the end of the sale. Um, if you are still seeing this in the video, the sale is probably still going. I'm pretty sure I'm going to edit this after the fact. It doesn't matter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.